Hi, my name is Brendan Boyd. I'm uh, with the Nuclear Astro Group at Stony Brook University, and my research primarily pertains to Type 1A supernovae. These are very explosive, bright events, but they're very mysterious because we still don't know exactly what they are. Uh, one kind of proposed setting is depicted in this top left, where you have this binary system of stars. One of them is a white dwarf. That's a very dense star made up of carbon and oxygen. And if these stars are close enough, the white dwarf can actually steal mass away and continue to gain mass. And as it gains more mass, it becomes hotter and denser. And eventually, in the core, it'll start uh, carbon together, releasing energy. And that's kind of crudely depicted in the bottom left. Uh, eventually, this carbon fusion will end up uh, exploding the star in the supernovae. But for about a thousand to ten thousand years prior to this, it'll just be driving convection, mixing material in the center. And that's the region that I'm most particularly interested in. And that's because there's this kind of unique process called the convective ERCA process going on in the white dwarf. This is a pretty complex relation between the convection and weak nuclear reactions called the Erker reactions uh, that I've written down to the right here. And these reactions can actually steal some of the energy away from the white dwarf. And it's been proposed that this can maybe slow down convection or cool the white dwarf down significantly. Uh, but to really properly investigate this, we need large 3D simulations. And that is what we use NERSC for because these simulations are very computationally expensive, particularly because we need three dimensions to properly model the convection and the turbulence flow. So uh, a resulting thought figure from these simulations is shown here in the middle. This is a kind of a slice right directly into the core region where lots of the mixing is going on. And we're looking at the ratio of this neon to sodium, which are important to the Erker. And the black lines kind of indicate where the general flow of the convection is. And you can see there's kind of big, large indicating a very dipolar type flow. Uh, the real main key result uh, that we found from this is that the convection being significantly hampered like it was previously thought and that these these ERCA reactions are not strong enough to uh, get that across. That's about all my time, so thank you for listening.